Okay guys, I want to tell you a, a variation on a fly called Mox Beauty. Now this is a, a sea trout fly. You can tie this on a... I'll take salmon as well. Uh, maybe even work for a dollar. You can take, tie it on size 8, 6 singles, 1 inch Wellington shanks. It's up to you. I'm going to tie it on a size 10 Partridge Patriot double and gold. The thread that I'm going to use to tie the fly is uni thread 801 black. So I'm just going to come in, get the thread started a few mil behind the eye of the hook. Just run on a bit of thread and remove the waist tag. Now the rib is going to be a medium gold wire. I'm going to create a tag out of this as well. There's no tag on the original pattern. Just like to put a tag on them. So just catch that in underneath. Bring the wire underneath the shank of the hook. And then just run your thread down tying this in. Now, guys, don't ask me where I got that gold wire. I've had it that long. Basically, I've had it as from pussy was a kitten. So I'm taking four turns of the gold wire, heading down the hook on the fifth turn, bring it up in between the two hooks, turn to hold it, catch it in to hold it, and keeping the wire underneath, I'm just running the thread up, tying it in. So I'm going to fold this back for the rib. Now, it seems like a bit of a hassle. But if you get into the habit of doing this, it'll make for a far stronger fly. Just fold it back and then run my thread back down to meet the tag. Now, the first part of the body is going to be a silver and gold. You need mail or tinsel. Now, I want the gold side. So I'm going to tie it with a silver side facing up. The stuff here that I'm using is a size 12. You need mailer. So just tie that in, then we'll just come around with a nice straight turn at the back and then just one turn overlapping the other to come up to meet the thread. One turn to hold, a couple of turns to secure, come in, trim away the excess. Next part of the fly is going to be a red holographic tinsel. Now what you could use is on the original pattern it was red seals for I just wanted to show you it with a tinsel, so just tie that in. Same again, we'll just come around with a tinsel, get a nice turn onto the gold part of the body, and then just one turn overlapping the other to create the second part of the body. Around with a turn to hold, get that out of there, and a couple of turns to secure. Come in, trim away the excess, then you can bring up your rib. You can four turns of the gold wire onto the body, pull it across with your thread. A couple of tight turns now to hold this wire because it's a medium, it's a thick enough diameter. And then just bend and break away. Next part of the fly is going to be a black hen haggle. You can use a black cock haggle. If you've got a black cock haggle, use it. I'm just using the hen just to show you. It's a wee bit more mobile with the hen. One turn to hold, another turn to secure, fold back the tip. Then just bring your thread turns back up over the tip and the haggle. Come in, locate the tip, and you can break it away. Now, I'm just going to fold these fibers back with my fingers. And then you're just looking one turn in front of the other. Now, the turns of haggle on a fly, so everybody has their own personal preference and take on this. But this being a hand haggle, that's going to be enough for me there. So that was two turns. Also depends on the quality of the fibre that you're winding. So one turn to hold. And then just come in. Just concentrate now. A couple of turns just to secure in the haggle. And then come in and trim away the excess. Then we'll just come in and fold everything back. Anything that's going forward, just fold it back. We'll just tie this down now. I'm just going to run the thread down to the end back up, just for the get a base of the materials for at the front. Now, I'm not looking too bad. That's not too bad. Now, first part of the wing is going to be yellow Arctic foxtail. I'm not really going to create a deal of this stuff, just, a, just enough. 
take off the length. Just going to remove the rubbish from the bottom. I don't like to see the, all the guard hairs in, so I'm taking some of those out. Now, the length of wings up to you, you can have it long, you can have it short. Yet again, everybody's personal preference. I'm going to have mine around about half the length, a length and a half, sorry, of the hook over the back. I come around with a pinch and loop. A couple of tight turns to secure it in. Now, I just like to come in here with my thumbnail and spread this over the, the breadth of the, the shank of the hook. Now, I'm not too worried about it sitting up like that. I'll get that to flatten down. Plus it will flatten down anyway once you give it a swim. So I'm just going to come in with these pair of sharp scissors, take away the excess. Now I'm going to put some flesh into the wing. I'm just going to use two strands of yellow crystal flesh. Right, you don't have to put the flesh in, I'm just going to give it a wee stretch just to take any of the kinks out of it. You don't have to, not everybody likes flesh. So it's totally in there, come around with a pinch and loop, a couple of turns to secure, fold the flesh back, bring the thread turns back up on top. Right, just got to make sure you have plenty of room here at the front. Just going to come in and trim the flesh to the length that I like. Now, if you want to lower the wing, you can just come in with your, your thumb. Increase the hair. But it'll lower once you fish it. It'll lower. Now, the next part of the fly, next part of the wing, sorry, is grey squirrel. I'm just going to put this as a next part of the wing, an overwing if you like. Now, you don't want too much, you just want enough. Right. I'm just going to trim that away, remove the rubbish. I like to stack it. So I'm just going to pop it into my hair stagger. Give us a rattle on my desk. Let the tips to line up. We'll just remove it from the hair stagger. Right. I want this less the length of the yellow hair so basically I'm taking the tips just past the bend of the hook. Right, I'm just going to hold it here my finger and thumb. I'm just going to take a measurement, trim the excess over my bin, just wait there on my back. Right, just come in, just get the hair as close to the shank of the hook as you can and then just come around with a pinch and loop and then another. Never let the thread go, keeping the thread tight all the time. Never let it go. Now, still keeping it tight. To secure that in. You like a super glue or varnish, whatever you like to use under your thread. And then simply bring the thread with the super glue down over the cut ends. This will just secure this in. Stop it from has a tendency to pull out. Don't stop it from pulling out. Right. Just come in and see how we're sitting. Right. We're, look, we're looking dead on, not too bad. Now, the next part of the fly is jungle cock. Jungle cock shape here. So just let me spur with me to get it out of the packet. So that's up there. It's a nice, nice cape. So we're just looking for two nice eyes for the wee fly. There's two there. We've got two. Nah. Let's get them in the hand. Get them lined up the best we can. Nah. You're just seeing the undersides there. So just want to stroke back some of the Favors to get a tan end point. We'll offer it up to the the hook. I'm just going to come in, hold them on the sides. Just come round with a couple of loose turns. Just want to get them positioned properly. Yeah, 
just have a wee look. Okay, I'll be enough of that. Right, at this stage, I'm going to check again. That one there is just a wee bit long. Just want to bring it in. Still a wee bit long, just bear with me. Okay, have enough of that. Now, just hold the jungle cat. Tighten up. Then we'll come in and fold back the stems. Just fold everything back. And then just bring your thread back up over the top of the jungle cat. Nice and tight. Yet again, another good habit. To have when your tan flies is folding the stems of your jungle cock back it just means that the I can't pull out they have to break off now there's one wee favor there i don't know if you can see it was doing my boxing so i'm just going to take it away now just to finish off with finishing tool just come in just bring your whip finish down now you can shape your head at the same time here Pull your thread tight, come in, trim away the excess. Right, not looking too bad. Now, first coat on the head, just get a wee check here. Make sure we're sitting dead on. First coat on the head, super glue. Just on the head, you don't want it anywhere else. Not run into any of your favours, it'll just ruin the fly on you. If you use this gear. Now, once that, once that dries, I'll come in, knock on a couple of coats of varnish, and Bob's your uncle. Now, you can't go far wrong with a colour combination that fly for sea trout, in my opinion. Yellow, white, black, jungle cock, gold and red bally. So look, like I say at the start of the video, it's just a wee variant of Max Beauty. Not that there needs to be a variant of the original fly, because it's a great fly. Just something a wee bit different. It's easy to tie. There's, you know, it's not really complicated to tie the fly. And hopefully you've got some there to that, guys. So listen, tie a few up. Hopefully they can catch you a few fish. And many thanks for watching the video.